very lucky to attract him here to Purdue in 2005 in both the chemistry department and the medicinal chemistry department. He had a co-appointment. And in 2009, he was uh, named a distinguished professor, the Ian Rothwell Distinguished Professor of Chemistry. Uh, Arun is perhaps best known for taking his expertise in synthetic organic chemistry and drug design uh, to design a set of compounds that would have activity against HIV, and in particular, an enzyme of HIV, the protease. And in doing so, he developed one compound, uh, which is now known as Darunavir, which is an FDA-approved compound to treat multi-drug resistance HIV. Uh, this was a monumental achievement, and uh, in, the, uh, in intervening years since the um, FDA approved this compound in 2008, well over a million prescriptions have been, have been filled for Darunavir. Uh, this is an award for impact, and I can't think of a bigger impact for the world than the development of Darunavir that Arun carried out. Uh, so you might say, well, what have you done for us lately, Arun, right? And uh, by figuring out how Darunavir works, he's been able to make compounds that are significantly more active and persist in the body much longer with the hope, his hope is now that we, instead of having a multi-drug regime that's necessary for treatment of HIV every day, that we might be able to move towards a single compound that could be, patients could take once a week. And if we could do that, that could change the face of HIV across the globe. He is also has another compound that targets a completely different protein that's involved in Alzheimer's disease that's in clinical trials. Uh, he has some of the first spliceosome inhibitors that could be used as anti-tumor agents. He synthesized over 40 complex natural products with medicinal activities. He's published over 275 papers. He holds 25 patents. He's won some of the most coveted awards in his field. He's a fellow of the Royal Society of Chemistry. And when, if you talk to him, perhaps one of his most um, pleasing uh, contribution is the number of students that he's mentored. Uh, he's provided, given over uh, 35 students, PhDs, he's mentored over 70 postdocs, and has worked with over 40 undergraduates while doing his research. So he's my dear colleague, and I'm so pleased that you won the McCoy Award and that you get to listen to your research today. for you to nominate me for this coveted award. This award means a lot to me because it recognizes our work what we do in the laboratory. Uh, I also like to thank the distinguished members of, of this selection committee, our award committee, for this opportunity to be here today. My talk today is going to have three parts. First, I'm going to talk about our work on natural product synthesis. And this work is a very important work. It set the stage for what we do in the laboratory, particularly for building molecular probes for biological and medicinal, uh, medicinal area, or medicinal agents. Then I'm going to talk about design and discovery of Darunavia, the first drug-based and HIV treatment that evolved in our laboratory. In this context, the most exciting part is the concept, basic concept that we have from our work, backbone binding design strategies. Perhaps this may be one of the most useful strategies, a powerful strategy for combating drug resistance, not only for HIV, that's implication to be uh, useful in other areas of drug therapy development. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you very briefly our work on protein structure-based design of agents, particularly Versicritase inhibitor. This is one of the very important target for intervention of Alzheimer's. The enzyme was discovered in 1999, and our seminal work, particularly the groundwork that we have carried out, that led the way and now possibly 
is actually much to be one of the most exciting and possibly a disease modifying target for intervention of Alzheimer's. We are synthetic laboratory. We have a synthetic laboratory. We make molecules. We have Spesaro and Leva, and then we have Luke and Annie in the laboratory. With the molecules, splices statin, which is a very potent anti cancer agent. So what we do in the laboratory is has, has a lot of relevance to what engineers do, our space shuttle mission, and also you know, building a space shuttle. As you know, the engineers, they build space shuttle by putting together component by component, parts by parts, scaffold by scaffold. We put together a molecule in the laboratory by atom by atom, by specific carbon-carbon bond formation, carbon header bond formation. By putting together atom by atom, we actually build scaffold like the new structure. And then also, very specifically, we also maintain special arrangements of the molecule and ultimately build the whole molecule. So building molecule in the laboratory is a very challenging endeavor. It has risk, it has thrills, it has also huge excitement. So this is why many laboratories around the world actually get very excited building molecule, which nature makes. But what do we do? We build molecule, enjoy the excitement, also the disappointment sometimes. But we actually take this part back. When we do, upon building a molecule, we like to see what does the molecule do in the human body. What is the biological mechanism action? If we understand correctly, we take it, you know, take this to different state. Many molecules we synthesize in our laboratory, over 40 of them are complex natural products. And the reason we choose this target because most of these targets are exceedingly potent, uh, have some important biological properties. And over the years, 40 or so, this complex molecule has been synthesized in our laboratory. And if you combine the graduate student postdoctoral years, it exceeds over 100 years. So following these molecules, synthesis of this molecule, what they do, we also carry out the biological relevance. And so that's, this is what I'm going to tell you a little bit what we do. Most of these molecules are isolated in nature in minuscule quantity. Sometimes the source actually gets extinct so that subsequent biological studies cannot be carried out. We make this molecule available and make it available to the researchers so they can actually carry out and see its biological significance. So these molecules, spice statin was synthesized in our laboratory 2014-2013, the variant of these isolated in a very small quantity from streptomyces. We need to know that molecule has a very potent anti-cancer activity. In 2007, biologist Nandel, this biological mechanism of action, it inhibits spliceosome. It's a very, very important protein. Spliceosome is a protein which is involved in cellular function, and all cells require spliceosome. It forms protein synthesis. So it inhibits cancer cell proliferation by inhibiting spliceosome. 